Metabo HPT came out with three new 36 volt variable speed grinders, including this six inch, which we did a standalone video on. The video today is going to go over the two four and a half inch models. One is a paddle switch. The other is a slide switch on the side. So depending on what your use is and what you'd like to have, you can pick up either one. Both of these, well, all three of them, will take a 36 volt multi-volt battery or you can use the AC adapter, plug it into the wall and grind away to your heart's content. All of these grinders share some very similar features, including the variable speed dial that is at the bottom. Now the perfect thing about this is you can set it at any speed and the disc or whatever you have on as far as an accessory will keep that speed. So if you start grinding and pushing a little bit, the power will increase to hold that disc at the same speed. It's very interesting as it'll go through the speeds from 3200 to 10,000 RPM. Very noticeable while you're using it, very easy to use. You also have an auxiliary handle that'll go in three positions, wherever you'd like to have it. The arbor lock or spindle lock is down there so you can easily take your blades on and off. There is a tool in case you don't like to use your hand. It comes included. The paddle switch has a small safety at the bottom, but very easy to use. You also notice on the bottom, you have an auto mode. This will actually start this unit out no load under a slower speed. And then as soon as you engage into a load, it'll kick it up to its highest speed. So it's just basically for noise control. You can use this button at the bottom to control the LEDs that are on both sides. You can choose if you'd like them on, off, or on with just the trigger. Very simple. Now the slide switch model is very interesting in the way it works in some cases, at least for safety. So when you turn this guy on, stays on, we're gonna dump him down to slow mode, but if you were to drop it, it will turn itself off. And I'm simulating a drop here by shaking it, and that's how sensitive it's going to be. So for safety reasons, if you were to drop this model, let's just test this out here it will turn itself off completely. That's pretty cool. They all have a zero voltage restart. So if you get to a point like that, you would have to physically turn the unit off and turn it back on. So just sliding in a new battery is not gonna turn on everything. You can see the paddle switch or the slide switch has the exact same stuff on it as far as the transmission mode, the auto mode, all that fun jazz. Power and torque on these models is good, right at the middle of the pack. And I think there's a balance there between runtime and power. You can't just crank out all kinds of power and you'd have very little runtime. You can't just give it all runtime because then you have very little power. So I think Metabo HPT pushed in the perfect balance for power and runtime. And I think that's because there's a compromise with batteries. You have a four amp hour, 36 volt as your largest battery at this point in time. And if you don't want to use that and need a little more runtime, you have to switch over to the AC adapter. Not a huge deal. Angle grinders love batteries and they will sit and chew them up and spit them out. But at the same point in time, you do have the AC adapter, which really is not offered by any other company. So I think that is a huge plus for them Although it would be nice to see a little bit larger amp hour battery on the back of this rather than the four amp hour multivolt. Either way, there's enough power to get anything you'd like done. There's enough runtime to do most things remote with one or two batteries. And if you'd like to, again, switch over to the AC adapter, it's there. I love that portion of these. These are four and a half inch grinders only. They are not going to take a five inch disc and a lot of the parts and pieces on the inside really seem to work well together and that is something I really enjoy about these grinders. For some time it seems like getting a good tool free guard adjustment was very difficult and nowadays it seems to start to be catching on if you get a nice grinder. This one is pretty simple. You just pull back on this lever, move it around, lock it in wherever you'd like to. Obviously, if you switch it all the way to the front, you can pull it off if your disc is not on here. But this is an easy one to move around wherever you'd like to, lock it in place. And that is something you don't find on a lot of the lower end angle grinders. Variable speed is also important if you're working with a large range of metals. So the variable speed in these units is very important to most people. 
I don't know why some brands just haven't caught on to that yet. I think this is a great way of diving into their 36 volt platform because you can get this with the AC adapter. I can't say that enough because there's no other tool company out there that's really offering that and yet they could. It's very, very, very possible Metabo HPT does it for all their 36 volt tools. Very interesting. Take a look at our six inch grinder video. I think this one was an awesome, very powerful grinder that worked really well and it gives you a lot of different options for how you're gonna use it. Very small handle at the back, great auxiliary handle. Of course, these four and a half inch basically mimic that to a T. It's just a little bit more powerful motor, I feel, that's in that six inch angle grinder. Good stuff here from Mentabo HPT. I have some links in the description where you can pick these things up. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.